this video I am covering burns specifically just the types of degrees and what layer of skin is damaged that is all I'm gonna cover I might make a video down the road about different types of burns but for now I'm only going over degrees alright so before I get into the degrees I am going to cover the different layers of skin there are three layers to your skin the epidermis dermis and hypodermis the epidermis remember that that epi means above and dermis, dermis means skin so it's the layer above so the top layer dermis is the skin and then hypo means below dermis the layer below so above layer middle layer below layer and also the hypodermis is known as the either subcutaneous tissue or uh, fatty tissue because it's pretty much just fatty fatty substance it's fat so when the first layer of skin is damaged, the epidermis, that is what we call either a first degree burn, which I kind of crossed it off right here, but a first degree burn, or superficial burn, superficial, it's above, okay? They mean the exact same thing. So first degree equals superficial burn, it's just different ways of saying it. When the top layer is completely damaged and then the bottom layer the dermis layer is damaged to an extent also we have what's called a second degree burn or partial thickness burn all right that's what this means when we're talking about I mean any kind of burn really it doesn't really matter uh, a second degree burn you're gonna see red so it's gonna be red and you're also going to have blisters most of the time. With this one, you'll just have red with the first degree, aka superficial burn. It'll be red and then you might have some swelling. With the second degree burn, aka also known or equals partial thickness, you're going to have redness, you're going to have blistering, and you're going to have a lot of pain. Okay? And this means that. The first layer of skin, the epidermis, is completely damaged and the second degree is partially damaged. I mean the second layer, the dermis, is partially damaged. Now with a third degree burn or even fourth, and I'll, I'll tell you what the difference is between these two, also equals a full thickness. We have the top two layers damaged all the way down to the to the third layer so the third layer may be partially damaged or all the way damaged now if it's partially damaged down to the muscle or just the fatty tissue we call it a third degree burn if it's damaged all the way to the bone we call it a fourth degree burn and that's the difference did it get down to the bone or not right so that's what's going to define whether it's either a third or fourth degree burn with these you tend to not find a lot of pain in the actual core of the core site of the burn but re remember you have a and the reason for this is that all your nerves that are in the dermis and even some of the subcutaneous tissue they're completely burned off so you can't feel anything but remember on the edge of that burn you still have first degree and second degree burns and these will be very very painful so your patient will still have pain but remember it's not might not be in the actual core site um, I think that's really all I wanted to cover today was just kind of the, the different degrees. I guess I might as well hit up on how to treat. So for these patients, just take them out of their environment and keep them cool. Maybe some lotion down the road that will help out. For these patients with second degree or partial thickness burns, make sure you do not pop the blisters and just you know, put a bandage on there and make sure you seal it up. That'll work. For the patients with a third degree burn, which will be kind of charry, white, maybe even brown, make sure that you, uh, you do not put an ointment, especially in the urban setting. So in the urban setting, I know wilderness medicine has a whole different thing going on, but for the urban setting, do not put any ointment. And it makes sense in the urban setting because... You're going to get these patients to a hospital within maybe 15 minutes tops usually, right? So when you take them to the hospital, the first thing they're going to do is take all that crap off. 
and to visualize the burn and see how like how bad the damage is. So by you putting on the ointment in an urban setting, you're actually making it worse and you're delaying care. So that's why you don't want to put ointment on a patient in an urban setting. Urban means like city or bigger town, stuff like that. If you're out in the mountains hiking, that's a whole different situation. And I know there's different protocols for that, but it depends on where you're at. And I think, think that's pretty much it. I'm going to be making a video on the different types of burns down the road. But for now, I think I got the point across with first degree, second degree, and third and or fourth degree burns. And also superficial, partial thickness, and full thickness. See you guys next time. Bye.